Hi guys, it's Monica. I'm going to do a evening skincare routine update. It has been requested by many of you that I update my skincare routine, my anti-aging skincare routine. I've already done my morning routine. I've already published it. I'm going to link it up above and down below in the description box. And this is going to be all about the evening skincare routine. Like everything else, I do firmly believe that consistency is key but I also believe that sometimes in the realm of being consistent, what you use has to be switched up. You have to kind of like mix things up to keep your skin guessing, to keep it exciting, I guess. <laughs> that sounds kind of kinky. But you know what I mean? Your skin can get used to things really quickly. So I think it's really good when at all possible in, in being affordable that you switch up what you can do. So for my evening routine, I have made some switches, but I am very consistent on the application process that I do something every single night. So to start off, so on the nights that I am using an eyelash serum, my Blink, I make sure that I remove my eye makeup with something that is not oily. And typically I'll use the oil-free eye makeup remover. This is the Equate brand, but you can use any brand that you like. But on my eyelash serum nights, when I put the blink on, it's really important for me to make sure I don't have any oily residue on my lashes. So. In general, my cleansing balm of choice has been my Clean It Zero. I love this stuff. I'm almost out of my pink. I just bought this and I bought, I know it looks green, even looks green to me, but it is actually yellow. I really like this a lot. My Clean It Zero in this one is, it just is nourishing. It's just, it just cleans my skin really super well. This is definitely my cleansing balm of choice. I've tried a number of others. I've talked about them, but I keep going back to this. I gravitate to this. I think it was Marlene Fab and Glam that first turned me on to this and I'm so glad she did. So I've got the nourishing one. The pink one is the original. That's the one I've been using, but I've been hearing a lot about the nourishing one and I figure, well, I'm gonna give it a try. So I've got this. Normally what I do is I remove all my makeup with the balm. I take a face cloth, hot water, and I just wipe it off gently. I make sure my skin is clean. You know, when your skin feels clean, you know it. You can feel it. It's smooth, in, at least mine is. So this is what I normally do. And then I take one of my cleansers of choice. I have gravitated to the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser for a couple of years now, a long time. I buy it usually Walmart, maybe Walgreens, Target sometimes wherever you can get this anywhere but i make sure that i buy the hydrating one because my skin is on the drier side and the hydrating one is geared for normal to dry skin so that works much better for me the second choice that i have that i really like is the peaches and cream deep cleansing milk and this is by soap and glory you can buy soap and glory I, I buy it in Walgreens, but you can buy it in Ulta, I think in Target, um, any place that really ca carries Soap and Glory, you can get this. So in the summertime, all year long, this has been in my motorhome. Whoops, it's been in my motorhome. And then when I winterized, I brought it in and I started to use it again. But typically all year long, this lives in my house. Lives, this one is in the motorhome. Those are my cleansers. But once that is done, if I need... And I'm going to stress this, if I need to exfoliate, and you can usually tell if you have a little bit of a buildup on your skin, whether or not you need to have some gentle exfoliation. I prefer to have a real gentle exfoliation rather than something harsh. I use a number of different exfoliating products and they live in this little tub. My little tub, it's all broken up, but they live here. And some of these products, again, I don't use these every single night and I switch up, you know, depending on which ones I feel like I want to use. The only one that's not in here is the one that I got from Gin Amber, the coffee bean scrub. I usually like that in the morning. It, When I use that in the morning, I can tell like my face has like just the most satiny feeling to it afterwards. It feels ready for makeup. But anyways, this is evening. So Body Mary, one of my all time favorites, glycolic acid scrub. I really like this a lot. Nip and Fab. I think I got these glycolic pads in TJ Maxx. 
e.l.f. exfoliating scrub. I like that a lot. I have another Nip and Fab glycolic scrub fix. I have a Good Things Manuka Honey exfoliating scrub. This one, I've, it's almost gone. This is the TJ Maxx one. I have, and this is not a scrub. This is actually a face, a facial mask, but I kind of use it as a, uh, you know, a sort of a wash. This is Say Yes to Coconut. One of my subscribers recently sent me a, the cleanser. I love, love, love this. I've used the Say Yes to Coconut on and off for a long time. I do love it. I have no problem with coconut base products or anything of that nature. I like it a lot. So I will use one of those exfoliating scrubs, creams, whatever, if I need it. If I don't need it, I bypass it. Probably three to four times a week. I absolutely love my Trophy Skin spatula. You guys have heard me talk about Trophy Skin. I have the microderm exfoliation. I love that. I use that probably once a month because I use Retin-A. This I use three to four times a week. This is their LaBelle spatula by Trophy Skin. Yes, I spent a good amount of money on my Trophy Skin products. They're expensive, but for me, they've been worth every single penny that I paid for it. And more recently, they sent me their Red Light Therapy, which I've talked about because I was really shocked when they reached out to me and said, would you like to try it? I said, absolutely. So that was sent to me originally from PR. The rest of my Trophy Skin products I have purchased and love. So three to four times a week, I am using the spatula. My skin is wet. I have it going on and I'm just gently going over and it's cleaning out any residue inside my pores. I believe this has made a huge difference, a huge difference to my skin, a huge difference. Out of all of my devices that I use, that I've seen the most difference with, it has to be this one. My microderm abrasion, I use it once a month and when I'm cleaning out my pores and really going into and really removing it and I look at that little filter thing and I go, oh my God, that stuff came off my face. But it's only once a month. This, every time I use it, my skin feels awesome. And I know you can get knockoffs of this at a cheaper amount of money. I've heard many people talk about it, go for it. This is pricey, it's a brand I trust. I'm using it on my face. I feel totally comfortable with this device on my face and I was happy I bought it. <laughs> Very happy I bought it. So if I've done that and I'm all done at this point in time, perhaps if I'm not going to mask, and some nights I do mask, if it's a masking night, I'm going to pick one of my masks that I like and I have several that I've been using. When we say that a company reached out or this was sent in PR. Typically PR is public relations. Every company, every brand has a PR department. And that PR department, sometimes their job is to find influencers or content creators and to reach out and say, hey, would you like to try our product in exchange for a review? Some companies have strict requirements. I usually turn them down. But some companies say, we'd just like you to try it and then talk about it. No requirements to talk for a long time or anything like that. City Beauty was one of those. City Beauty sent me out a PR package quite a while ago and I really like a lot of their products and I've talked about a lot of their products. Well, I have to tell you hands down. This face mask, Hydro Mask, this face mask is the best. And I have a ton of face masks that I have bought. Some people have sent me as gifts that I've gotten in other PR packages, but I always go back to the City Beauty Line Smoothing Hydro Mask and it's probably because I have dry skin. I love, love, love this mask. And initially, this was sent to me in PR. Also, Pixie Beauty Glow Tonic, a Glow Boost, Glow Tonic. I have a ton of PR from Pixie. They sent me a lot of different products. Some of it I've loved, some of it I haven't loved, and I've talked about the vitamin C. So, whatever I decide to do for a mask, I will do a mask. I try to do a mask every night. I Not often. I mean, I'm, I'm not really consistent on every single night, but I would say at least four to five nights a week, I will do a mask. I also recently got sent via PR from Jen Amber Beauty, and this is an eye mask. I haven't tried it yet. I'm looking forward to that. So I got that from Jen Amber, and Jen Amber has sent me a number of products, including this little dolphin, including the aqua stamp that I recently got, and this awesome retinol serum. She sent me a number of things, including that coffee bean cleanser that I talk about in my morning routine update. I really like that. Anyways, this is Gin Amber Dolphin. And yes, there are tons of dolphins out there. You can buy the same type of a device 
for whatever money, go for it and see if you like it. But I actually like this for around my eyes when I'm not using my jade roller. And also I concentrate on my deeper wrinkles, for basically helping to make the products I'm putting on sink in deeper. So I, this is one of my, I'm, I think I'm a junkie when it comes to beauty tools because I love my beauty tools. I absolutely, the ones that I buy and the ones that were sent to me, I love my beauty tools. So if my skin is totally clean, and I'm totally satisfied, I then go on to my Retin-A. Now, I'm pretty consistent with my Retin-A. I've been using Retin-A since 2016, but I'm probably at the point now where every other night I'm using my Retin-A. Sometimes, you know, three or four nights in a row, then I take a few nights off. But what I've been using, and I have a link below, I buy my Retin-A overseas from India, from Reliable RX. I've been using and buying their Retin-A for mm, two years now and I've not had any problem. I've gotten a gift of Retin-A and I'm using this right now. And this is the 1% cream. This was gifted to me from one of my subscribers. Thank, Thank you so much. And I love this. And so what I've been doing is every third time I go for my Retin-A, I've been actually using the Hydroquinone Retin-A with Tretinoin that I got off of Reliable RX. At night, I also use my Olay Pro Eye. I still put that all along my deep crow's feet. This, I have another tube of. This is the one you can only get in the UK or Europe, I should say. I'm hoping when I go to the UK next year that I can find this and I can buy myself a couple of tubes. I have enough to last me until then. But I use that pretty well every single night. I put that on. Now, also at night, I, I am trying out the Dr. Lilly Fan Probiotic. I'm still using, I'm using the eye serum and I dab that onto my eyes at night. And I just let that sink in. So the last thing that I do after I have my Retin-A, after I've done everything that I want to do, the very last thing that I do on my skin is I add my CBD oil. Currently I'm using the Maku and this is the 2,500 milligrams CBD. Since I have been using a CBD product on my skin, sometimes I do it before I apply my Retin-A, sometimes I do it after I apply my Retin-A. When I went to the dermatologist and I had a spot removed, he said to me, play around with it and see what works best for you. He thought it was good to do before and or after. So I've been doing it after lately put on my my retin-a and then i apply my cbd i pat that all in i'll go down my neck and and i just let that sink in and then i go to bed or usually go to bed on the nights i'm not using my retin-a and if it's every other night type of thing i've been using this particular product and this is something that was sent to me from jill amber and this is a retinol serum. On the non-retin-A nights, I have been using for a long time some rosehip seed oil mixed in with my weakest retin-A cream. And I go down my neck and into my decolletage. That's what I normally do for my neck. I've been using this since I got it. I really like this. Again, this was sent to me in PR from Gin Amber Beauty. I couldn't tell you how it's working, whether it's the difference between this and my rosehip seed oil yet, but I can tell you that I am liking it, and this is what I'm using here going down on my non-retin-A nights. Now, I could use it on my face, but I choose to give my skin a total rest from retin-A. Since I've been using this product, the uglies are long gone. I don't suffer from the uglies anymore like I used to. It's really been amazing. That brings me to Blink. That brings me to eyelashes. Again, when I'm using my Blink, I'm gonna make sure that I have no buildup of any kind of oil on my eyelashes. I wanna make sure there's nothing there that can stop this from sinking in. So what I normally do is I unscrew the little top and there's this little indent here. I make sure this is sanitized with a little bit of alcohol and then I take one drop into this little indent and I, on my very clean eye, now it comes with this brush I hate this brush. I'm just showing it to you. I hate the thing. It's very thick and cumbersome. So I just use this tiny little brush. So I'll take one drop. I make sure I'm a real nut when it comes to sanitizing. The same thing when I was using my derma rollers. I want to make sure my brush and my tools are sanitized. So I dip this in the dropper and I go like eyeliner along each eye. I probably can get three or four coats along each eye. 
and then that's it. Then I clean it all off, rinse it off, put it away until next time. So I'm using my Blink Eyelash Serum probably three times a week, maybe sometimes four times a week, but I'm not using it every night anymore. And I probably come February will take a break because that's when I normally take a break for my eyelash serum is in February of every year, it seems like. So I'll probably take a break then. But so far, I will tell you, I have been loving my Blink Eyelash Serum. It's been working really well for me. I've had no issues whatsoever. So that basically is my nighttime routine. I mentioned that I use my microdermabrasion about once a month. I make sure that when I'm using the abrasion because of the tip and the way it's really strong, I make sure that I'm using it on the time frame when I haven't used my Retin-A for at least two nights beforehand. So I schedule that. I'll look at the calendar and I'll go, okay, you know, I haven't done it. I'm going to make sure that I just kind of monitor my Retin-A use. And I use, I clean my skin, I do everything the same way, but then I exfoliate with that. And I love it. I look at that little black thing, the little diamond, the filter that comes out of it, and I'm like shocked that that came off my skin. <laughs> but I absolutely love my microdermabrasion. But that is a once a month, roughly, item for me. Whereas my spatula is probably, like I said, three to four times a week. And then the Trophy Skin Red Light Therapy that I have, that I've talked about, I think I talked about it in my morning update, which was sent to me complimentary. I use that every morning and sometimes every night, but I'm not as good at using that as at night because I'm doing other things. I tend to forget to plug it in and, and go for it. But every morning I'm using that. And that was sent to me. That was sent to me via PR. All the rest of my Trophy Skin products I've bought. And I love them. I absolutely love them. One thing I wanted to mention to you that I received. This is the Active Layer Bioactive Skin Care Nano Collagen Boost Patches for Under Eyes. Pure... Bioactives rapidly delivered deep into the dermis. Marine collagen with grape seed and kiwi a few fruit. Oh my gosh, this is made in New Zealand. This was sent to me, I think a couple of, uh, maybe a week or so ago I received it. I think this is extremely expensive. However, I'm, I'm more than willing to give it a try and let you know how I feel about it. I believe Natalie the Beauty Diva has raved about this. She's tried it, she swears by it. And my eyes are pretty bad right now because of a lot of the stress that I've been going through with my dad. So I'm looking forward to really trying this out. This was again sent to me complimentary and that's something new. I'm gonna give it a try. The other thing that I think I might've forgot to mention is after I've cleaned my skin, serums. I haven't really been using a bunch of serums on my skin when my skin, you know, my skin is so much better since I've been doing the CBD oil. I haven't really had the need for nightly serums like I did. However, this was sent to me from Color Science. This is their pep up and I am trying to finish this. This is a really nice skincare product. Collagen Renewal Face and Neck Treatment. So Color Science is just, I think Color Science is an awesome brand and they sent this to me. So a lot of times after I wash my skin at night, not in the morning, but at night, and I've done everything and I just want to give it some additional collagen or some peptides or whatever, I'll put that on it and I'll let that sink in. So I know it sounds complicated. It really isn't all that complicated. It really isn't. I'm pretty consistent. Wash and I shared what I use. And then I'm gonna make sure if I need to do a toner, I will use one of my toners. If I'm going to mask, I will use one of my favorite masks, which I really like a lot. And then I get into when my skin is dry, if I want to do a pep, you know, peptides or something like that, a serum, I'll do that. I just make sure when my skin is dry and I have nothing else on my skin that I'm going to go in with my Retin-A. And I'm very generous with my Retin-A. I use a lot of it. I put it all over. I might mix and go down my neck and I let that dry. And when that sets in really good and solid, it's when I go in with my CBD oil, my CBD oil all over the place. I might mix it with another oil and I'll spread it all out and I really like it. I think it makes a huge difference on my skin. I really do. So between that, my Blink Eyelash Serum, I'm pretty consistent. 
and other than the new, you know, the beauty tools that I've been using lately. And there's another beauty tool I'd like to get my hands on and try, but I don't have it yet. So on my head, I'm wearing my Raquel Welch Editor's Pick in the color Shaded Cappuccino. All I did was pull it back. I just pulled it back. I'll take the clip out and show you so you can see. There's a clip. I have no idea how messy it is, but I love this wig. And this was initially sent to me in PR. Oh, gosh. And again, when I say PR, the public relations division of a company will often identify content creators or they'll look on YouTube, they'll look on Instagram, and they'll, they'll identify content creators that they think might have uh, viewers that might be interested in their products. So wigs.com reached out to me because... I've talked about thinning hair, I've talked about, you know, hair accessories, I wear a lot of the fake little hairy bun things, and so they reached out to me quite a while ago and they said, would I like to try one of their wigs? And this was one of the ones that I picked, and and I love it. So I've had, I've had a number of different wigs. I have um, Henry Magu, I have Uni Wigs, I have John Renault, and um, Raquel Welch. So I, yeah, this one was sent to me free of charge, complimentary, and you've seen me wear this often. I love it. So now I'm starting to ramble. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks so much for joining me, guys. I hope you have a great, a great week. Bye, guys. Till next time.